Outsourcing is a massive component to building a successful social media marketing agency. And quite frankly, if you're not outsourcing, you're literally putting a cap on your earnings. And that is why in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through exactly what you need to outsource and how to go about outsourcing so that not only do you grow your agency, but you have time for you. So I'm super excited for this video. And with that being said, let's go right into it. <laughs> Now, the first thing that I want to speak about is the mindset behind outsourcing, because I feel like it tends to have bad connotations. When you say outsourcing, a lot of people think hiring unqualified talent from cheap labor countries while you just kind of lay on a beach and chill all day, while they just run your business in a not very professional way. But that is not what we're doing here. When building our social media marketing agency, we have to realize that we're building a real business and a real business involves an A team. For example, in my team at Mogul C, I have people all over the world, especially in the US, because most of our clients are from the US. So culturally is the best fit, but these are not people that I just found on a whim. I put together a full tedious hiring process and these are highly trained, highly experienced people that become an integral part of my team. So with that being said about outsourcing, here are the three things that you need to be outsourcing within your social media marketing agency. Now, the first aspect of our agency that we're going to be outsourcing is the sales and outreach. However, the first thing that you need to know is that the actual hopping on the call and signing the client, you should never outsource that. You as the CEO and founder of your agency should always be the first and final touch point before they sign on as a client. And it's very easy to feel like running away from it, especially when you're just starting out and you're not really good at sales. And I definitely know how that feels like. But the reality is number one, sales is one of those skills that you need to master. And once you master it, you'll be very glad that you've done so because I truly believe that once you master sales, you never have to worry about money ever again. The second reason comes down to the fact that no one is going to sell the business and the mission and the vision of your agency like you are, especially when you're just starting out and your team members haven't been with you for a long time. And number three is that I truly believe by doing sales, by jumping on sales calls with clients, it is by far the best way to get a pulse as to what you're clients need and want. I have found that it's by far the best market research tool because a lot of the stuff that I realized on sales calls that clients were asking me or that I was struggling to answer, those things came to be some of the biggest selling points of my agency. So I truly believe it's an amazing way to get a pulse on the market. So that is what you do not want to outsource. What you do want to outsource is the lead sourcing. And if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you will know that one of my secret sources, one of the reasons why I've had incredible success with my agency and sales and outreach is because of my automated sales funnel that I teach my students and that I implement on a daily basis basis for my agency. That's kind of the automated component of my sales, which honestly just takes care of me and my agency because it lands me minutes predictably. And I truly believe that you can outsource your lead sourcing. So right before the automation, you can actually even outsource your lead sourcing. So you pretty much just focus purely on the signing of clients on sales calls. Now, when it comes to outsourcing your lead sourcing, and this applies for anything that we're going to be outsourcing, you want to make sure that you've already done it yourself and you have a very tight and streamlined system that you can teach others how to do. Because if your system, if your SOP is not very tight, it's not very streamlined, then when you outsource it, it's going to cause friction. And not only that, but if you scale it, it's going to break. So once you have your lead sourcing process down and you've got a standard operating procedure that really, really works and it's very, very streamlined, you can go ahead and hire a VA to get leads for you and to implement that SOP. So that is that for sales and outreach. And now to the second component of our outsource agency. <laughs> okay, now the next thing is something you can really outsource. I wish you could but it's something that I really, really appreciate it. And that is smashing the like button. If you're enjoying this video so far and you want me to keep creating this content on social media marketing, agency entrepreneurship, go ahead and smash the like button. We'll help start on with the algorithm and the whole channel. And I'd really appreciate it. So with that being said, let's go right into the second component, which is service delivery. Now, when it comes to service delivery, one of the first things that you want to do when you start your agency is hire an A player to deliver the service for you. Let's say that you want to offer Facebook ads for your clients. A lot of people think that you need to become this Facebook ads expert. And the harsh news about that is that in order to become a Facebook ads expert, you need hands on experience. It's not one of those skills that you can just read about and be a Facebook ads expert. All of a sudden, you actually need to implement your knowledge and to implement your knowledge, you need clients. The problem is right now you don't have any clients. And so what you could do is you could take two, three, four years to become a Facebook ads expert, which is a very long period of time. And during that whole time, you wouldn't make any profit. Or the second option is seek out the people that are already experts at that field that love Facebook ads, that do Facebook ads on a daily basis. And the only thing they think about is doing the Facebook ads. They're not thinking about building an agency and having a ton of clients and going out and signing clients. They're just purely thinking about running ads for clients. So you can go ahead, seek out these people, leverage their experience and create a win-win scenario where you send them clients and they do the service for you. And so you can just focus on the actual sales, outreach, communication, reporting, creating incredible SOPs, creating incredible client ecosystems for your clients. And they can do the service delivery, which they're going to do much better than you. So you can retain your clients for a much longer time. So that is what you want to do when it comes to the service delivery. Now, what am I looking for in media buyers or the person that's delivering my service? 
Number one is I'm looking for hunger. This is a very key trait for me, especially nowadays. When you go out and hire people, you're gonna find a lot of people that have a bit of a, an ego, right? Uh, they've been in the space for a while, and maybe they're already managing a bunch of different accounts, but they don't have that hunger component. And so what I'm looking for is a balance between the hunger of someone who's looking to become a top player within their space, and also someone that has a track record already. And what I'm especially looking for here is not so much the return on investment that this person has gotten for clients, I'm looking for how much money they've spent on Facebook ads. That gives you a much better idea as to what their experience really is and their expertise, because trust me, a company would not trust these guys with a million in ad spend if they weren't sure that they would be able to get them a return on that amount. So those are the two things that I'm mainly looking for. The final thing that I'm looking for and the, the question that I'm asking myself is, is this a professional person that I'm gonna be able to get along with? I'm not really looking for an entrepreneur or a person who thinks like me. In fact, I'm almost looking for the opposite, but I'm more so looking for a person that I'm gonna be able to have laugh with or that I'm gonna be able to crack some jokes with. The point is you need to be able to imagine yourself working with this person for five, five plus years, right? And, and this person becoming an integral part of your business and your agency. So that is what I'm looking for when it comes to outsourcing my service delivery. It's a key component of building your social media marketing agency because if you do not outsource your service delivery, sure, you could make more profit, but the problem is you're violating the commandment of scale, which means you can't really scale your agency because there's only so much time in the day and you're doing everything yourself and so you almost have this glass ceiling because the five hours you're putting into the service delivery every single day you're not putting into signing more clients because you simply don't have the time right so if you did have the expertise to deliver the service yourself you, you could do that and in the short term you might make more profit but you're really gonna burn out and most importantly in the long term and you're not gonna be able to grow your agency to 20 30 45k 50k a month so that is that for the service delivery and now to the final component that we will be outsourcing so the final component of our outsourcing strategy is reporting and communication. This could definitely get a lot more complex and I could speak about this for hours on end, but very simply when it comes to communication, you wanna make sure that the person who's delivering your service gets involved in it. For example, my media buyers in my team are very involved when it comes to communication. And the reason why you wanna do that is because number one, your time is freed up, right? So you can actually take a vacation and have your agency still running because the person delivering the service is also expected to communicate with the client the results that he or she is getting and the performance of the ads. But you also need to understand that there's no one better in your team to talk about the results of the Facebook ads or whatever service you're offering for clients than the person you actually hire to do the actual service, right? So it's very, very important to get them involved in the communication only so that you can free up your time and remove yourself as much from the equation as possible, but also because communication from the contractor you've hired for the service delivery is gonna be very, very effective. So that is that for communication. And when it comes to reporting, you can outsource slash automate this by creating reporting sheet. And there's a myriad of different ways to do this, but probably the easiest way to do this is through Google Studio. So that is that for this video. Those are the three components that you should be outsourcing within your social media marketing agency. If you enjoyed this video, as always, go ahead and smash the like button. Really appreciate it. Also, leave down below any comments, any questions you may have on this video, and I'll be sure to check those out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship, social media marketing agency, and a ton of different other topics. So if you don't want to miss any of that, Go ahead and sub to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you never miss an update. And the final thing is, if you haven't checked out my free Facebook Mastermind, it's an incredible community of 2,000 members already and it's growing day by day. So if you're looking to connect with like-minded people as well as consume exclusive content from my team and myself, you can go ahead and apply with the link in my description and uh, if you're a good fit, we will let you in. So as always guys, hope everything's going well in your journey and I will see you in the next one. Peace.